Today we're going to demonstrate the AT&T Volte update for the Janus LTE pot swap. Make sure that you have an LTE 910PS V1.0, that's the AT&T version. It'll have an AT&T SIM card. You must have an AT&T SIM card in the unit to be able to affect this change. You're going to need a laptop running a terminal emulator of some kind. We're going to use TerraTerm. You can use PuTTY or any other terminal emulator that you're comfortable with using. You'll need a USB cable with a mini connector, and we're going to connect to the config input uh, USB connector on the uh, pot swap. So I've got one operating here. Just plug our mini USB and the pot swap and into the laptop. I'm going to open up the TerraTerm emulator, plug in the pot swap, make sure that your serial port settings, 115-200 baud rate, eight bit data, no parity, one stop bit. Most laptops will find the Silicon Laboratories CP210X UART to USB bridge uh, automatically. If not, it may uh, you may have to go to Silicon Labs and install that on your computer. So with a running pot swap, You'll normally get a lot of debug information that uh, trickles out as it's running. That way you'll know you've got uh, good connectivity to it. In order to affect the update, you need to reboot the pot swap. You can do that in two ways. One is uh, by power cycling. Just disconnect the power and uh, plug it back in. Or you can use uh, the reset button on the front. Either way will work. Just disconnect this, plug it back in. You'll have 30 seconds till you get to a point where you get a ready prompt and you have to enter something to uh, enter the terminal mode there. So we'll wait for that. I'll usually enter a question mark. You can enter any character except for a Q and it'll stay in that terminal mode and you can type in the required commands. So we get this string of W's because it's waiting for the cellular modem to boot. Now I have my ready prompt, and let me put in a question mark, enter, and I get a little menu here that says uh, what you can do in the configuration menu. First thing we want to do is type in X, Y, Z, Z, Y, space, 90201, and hit enter. And then the command, AT plus CGDCONT equals one, comma, double quote, IPV4V6, double quote, comma, and then two double quotes with nothing in between. Hit enter. And that should have affected the change. We can check that by typing in. AT plus C G D C O N T question mark. We should get three or four lines. You may not have this fourth line here, but what you want to ensure is that on that first line, following IPv4 V6 is a comma and then two quotes next to each other. So there's no no more text like these other lines have. That's all that's required. If you get a response for any of these commands that says unknown command, you can just type it in again because you, you, it's possible you've made some type of error. Be careful of cutting and pasting from a document into this because sometimes you'll pick up unprintable characters and it just won't work. We'd suggest using uh, just manual typing. So that's it. And then you need to power cycle the pot swap when you're done. Uh, that's all that's required.